Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and today's topic we are going to cover while the development of the teeth take place. So before the eruption, while the teeth is still developing. So whatever the disease which is associated because of the developmental defects. So if there is any abnormality in the development because of that, if what it can cause. So we will be studying of course the reason also and the disease and its features as well. So today's video we are going to cover the developmental defects or anomalies which are associated with the teeth. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, before we start with the 5 in 5 series in which we are going to cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes and most of the topics, headings are covered by 5 subheadings. So today's topic we are going to talk about my microdontia and the macrodontia. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. So we are going to cover the microdontia as well as the macrodontia. These are the abnormalities of the tooth. So these are the developmental abnormalities of the tooth in which there is a disturbance in the size of the teeth. So as the name suggests, micro means small, dontia means teeth. As the name suggests, macro means small, macro means big, dontia means teeth. So there is going to be small teeth. Macrodontia, there is going to be the large teeth. So the first point is, out of five is the first one, is the smaller teeth. So in the, as the name suggests, according to the name itself, the extract from the name, the name tells small teeth. So teeth are going to be smaller as compared to the normal teeth. What causes? Second point, what causes the microdontia? So you just need to remember five points and you have to just write the five points. Causes, we have genetic cause, we have hereditary cause, cleft lip, cleft palate. If there, the mother, pregnant mother has gone undergone any radiotherapy, then also there can be microdontia of the child. Congenital syphilis is there. Then if there is decrease in the growth hormone. That is usually a hypopituitarism. Hypopituitarism means the pituitary gland is underdeveloped. When the pituitary gland is underdeveloped, then there is a decrease in the growth hormone. So decrease in the growth hormone will reduce all of the growth. It will reduce the size of each and every part almost. So the size will also patient will be dwarf and there are chances that there will be microdontia. Teeth will also be smaller. And in case of supernumerary teeth also. Now what happens in the supernumerary teeth? Are, they are almost always smaller than the normal teeth. And most of the time they are often present with a conical shaped teeth. Also there are some more examples like if we talk about there are some conditions in which there is not truly a development in nature like if we talk about facial hemitrophy. So if we are talking about facial hemitrophy the same side where there is, there is facial hemiatrophy, so that means the same side will be reduced in size. So the teeth of the same side, suppose right side is affected with the facial hemitrophy, then there will be the teeth smaller in the right side of that patient. In case of gemination, twinning, so when the teeth is splitting into two, then if it is giving rises to the two separate teeth, so now these teeth, separate teeth are smaller as we compare to the normal. Also in came, uh, case of hereditary ectodermal dysplasia. So what happens in the hereditary ectodermal dysplasia? We will be talking about ectodermal dysplasia in almost each of the developmental abnormalities because ecto means outer layer. So all of the things, all of the tissues which are made from the ectoderm like skin, hair, nails, uh, like that and teeth. If you remember the enamel of the teeth is made from the in the last video we have studied from the ectoderm. So all of the things which are made from the ectoderm, there will be abnormality on those. So in case of ectoderm, what happens? Usually there is hypodontia which is seen, less number of teeth which is seen that we will cover in the hypodontia also. Like partial anodontia we can say. But some cases, sometimes there are the teeth size is also smaller in size. So there may be small conical teeth present can be related to the ectodermal dysplasia. And what happens when a patient is having a retained deciduous teeth within a permanent dentition. Now sometimes because the teeth look so tiny that sometimes we get an illusion that this is a kind of a microdontia. 
so the second part is the causes causes we have genetic hereditary cleft lip cleft palate radiotherapy in a pregnant woman congenital syphilis growth hormone decrease and supernumerary teeth coming to the types types of macrodontia microdontia are same true generalized means that actually all the teeth generalized means in general we are talking about whole of the thing we are talking generalized so we are talking about the whole population whole population of what whole population of teeth so all the teeth will truly be smaller in the size either it is the permanent teeth or it is the primary teeth then the relative generalized now this kind of true generalized is mostly seen in the down syndrome as well as the congenital heart disease so i can say the congenital heart disease or the down syndrome usually present with the true generalized microdontia then comes the relative generalized now relative generalized is when the teeth is normal in size also in case of macrodontia the teeth will be normal in size now what happens when the teeth is normal in size then how are we telling that this is microdontia when the jaw is bigger okay either it is maxillary or mandibular when the jaw is bigger the teeth are normal then there is a spacing so it feels that the teeth are actually smaller but that isn't true so the term is given relative so we are talking about relatively right so when one of the one or two teeth actually uh, see what happens in the relative generalized when there is the teeth are in normal size but they may look smaller if they are placed in a large maxilla or in a large mandible so in that case the larger size of the jaw will give us illusion that the patient is having a microdontia although the teeth are normal but it gives the illusion so this is kind of a relatively microdontia and in the case of relative microdontia there will be spacing present between the teeth because jaw is big so the teeth are sparsely placed next come the focal or the local we can say the localized or the focal microdontia now it usually one or two teeth may be affected normally all the teeth will be present normal but there may be one or two teeth which are smaller in size so this type of microdontia is very common because either one or two teeth are smaller as compared to the normal uh, teeth so the most commonly affected teeth which is our fourth point so the example for this is a peg shape lateral so how this peg shape lateral looks like this peg shape lateral is suppose this is the central this one guy is the peg shape lateral so it will be it will be converging towards the incisal or the occlusal level so this will be a kind of a conical teeth so the involvement for local microdontia is the most common teeth which is affected is the maxillary lateral incisor and if we talk about exactly in the maxillary lateral incisor we have peg shape laterals because these laterals are often cone or peg in shape that is why they call it we call it the peg shape laterals right then the and the third molar maxillary third molars are also most commonly involved then the second most commonly involved teeth are the maxillary and the mandibular second premolars now these peg shape laterals basically are the autosomal dominant hereditary trait so they will be from one generation to another generation they will be passed talking about see now we can see that there is spacing will be present there are peg shape most of the time what happens this is the peg shape lateral is the most commonly most often which is seen so what happens how we have to overcome because sometimes when spacing is present or only one teeth is small then it disturbs the appearance of the teeth uh, appearance of the uh, person right so in that case we do the reduction do the root canal treatment and we give the crown to the patient so we for the aesthetic for the cosmetic purpose for the aesthetic rehabilitation we give the crown and bridge prosthetic work talking about the microdontia micro, macrodontia macrodontia is when macro means large dontia means teeth so when the teeth are larger as compared to the normal teeth what causes macrodontia see macrodontia itself as we can see the third point is rare macrodontia itself is a rare condition it is not usually seen but whichever condition is related to increase in the growth hormone so all of the body parts will be increased in the size so the height will also increase in the size and also we can see there is increase in the size of teeth also so that can be a kind of true generalized so pituitary gigantism if we see that is also a that is because of the reason of that there is a macrodontia increase in the size of the teeth 
so other causes can be fusion so what happens when the tooth two teeth are fused suppose normally this tooth was lateral incisor was supposed to be like this now what happens because of the two teeth are fused now this looks like a bigger teeth so that can be an example of the focal or localized macrodontia now facial hemi hypertrophy that means half of the face there is increase in the growth hemi means half facial means face hyper means there is going to be increase trophy means size so there is going to be increase in the half of the face in that half part of the face there can be increase in the size of the teeth also so that can be a cause of macrodontia so the types are same as that of the microdontia we have true generalized which is seen in case of pituitary giantism then we have relative generalized in which teeth are no normal but the jaw is smaller so it looks like because crowding is there so it looks like that the patient is having the macrodontia the teeth are big because but that is an illusion because what is there normal teeth are there what is now third what type we have the focal or the localized now focal or the localized is usually seen as the same side of the hemifacial hypertrophy now fifth point in the macrodontia is don't confuse with the fusion now what happens most of because fusion is a common uh, developmental anomaly right there were developmental disturbance so what happens when a, a case a teeth is fused now sometimes we open often often misrelate or miss elude with the fusion right what happens when there is a big teeth is present then we sometimes big teeth we confuse it with a fusion so we have to check we don't have to confuse with the macrodontia with the fusion we have to see either it is the developmental anomaly of the size or it if it is a developmental anomaly of the shape that we have to clear so guys these are the five points five minutes we have covered microdontia five minutes we have covered macrodontia so developmental anomaly of the teeth which is there is a disturbance in the size what happens either the size can be small or size can be bigger so it can be microdontia or macrodontia five points smaller teeth what causes it what are the types what is the involvement and the treatment you have to write macrodontia if it has been asked then the what is the term means so as the name signifies larger then what causes it then third one is it is a rare type then types and then we don't have to get confused with the fusion so this is about microdontia and macrodontia i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video so if you have liked the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and in the description box below now you have a chance to support me on paytm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes available to you as soon as possible so guys till then keep reading keep learning stay safe and i'll see you soon guys for the next video